hello, welcome to January 2016. This is literally the first video, I'm already freaking out. I shot a video yesterday to go out today, and now I'm just not happy with it. It was exactly like the old way I'd try and do vlogs, where I'd kind of just have a topic and sit down and talk about it, and just have loads of jump cuts and nobody really give a shit. And it was just like gratuitous information about me, which is boring. So I shot it yesterday, edited last night, didn't get to sleep until like 2.30 because I was doing other stuff, and then I just woke up with like a pit in my stomach being like, oh, I've got to film today, and then I've got to do it, and then put it out. This is not how I'm used to doing videos, so it's gonna be weird. So the video I recorded yesterday was a reflection on the past year. The way I think about my happiness at any given point in time is with four factors. And the analogy I choose to go with is that I'm a temple, and these are the pillars that support the roof and let the light in and you want them to be high so they can let the light in and give me a lot of room, uh, but also they need to be stable. So having just two columns really high is good, um, but you really need the other columns to support it. My four columns, and this is totally just for me, um, I know other people would have different priorities, but the things that like affect my positivity the most are romance, friends and family, finance, and future. Long story short, romance went from shit to like, kind of good. Finance went from terrible to like really good. Uh, future went from pretty good to really good. Um, and friends and family went from pretty good to really good. I think the friends bit is the bit I want to talk about more today because it always bamboozles me. Like whenever I think about the concept of having friends and connecting with other people and you know caring about one another, I get really confused because I'm a sociopath. I don't mean I don't know how to make friends or anything. I just mean it's kind of like a social contract that doesn't have a contract. If you're in a romantic relationship, there are levels you reach and there are milestones to mark those things. Like you say, do you want to officially be my other half? And do you want to get married to me? And let's raise a family. But with friends, it's just an untold, fragile thing. The past couple of days I've been having probably the biggest fight I've ever had with one of my best friends. And it's just gotten way out of hand. And at this point I'm like, can we just ignore the fact that all of this exists? And it's just got me thinking how much I really, 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 really care about her. Um, and how I hope she really, really cares about me. But in friendship, it's all optional, you know? I have certain friends that I know if I'm, if I'm like, I'm super ill, can you come round to my house and cook me soup? They would. Is there like, some non-crazy way you can just go up to somebody and be like, I value you and your friendship so much. Can we be like official, really good friends? <laughs> Stephen was saying yesterday that he knows that I'm one of the three people that he really trusts because when he had this big problem, he knew he only wanted to talk to three people and I was one of them. And that's like a really sweet marker of friendship. I don't know how to identify friends naturally. Like I'd always want to, fit them into artificial spheres of influence. I'm very aware I'm just overthinking this. There are just people I really care about. And I really care about them. I really need to make up with my friend today. So it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and while we're on the subject of friends, I need to go meet some. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I guess I'll bring you with me. Is that how vlogging works? I think I'm done with the friendship thing. Do friends matter that much? Do we really need them? Yeah. Probably. So today, the day of filming, is actually New Year's Eve. I have some friends flying in from America and I'm gonna spend the afternoon with one of them. Um, and then I'm going to a place. I feel like absolute balls today. I don't know why, I shouldn't. I've had like six hours sleep, but I just feel so drained. And the next couple of days are gonna be super busy because I've got like today and then I have New Year's Day where I'm busy. And then on Saturday, I'm going skiing. So I don't know how to work. <laughs> On the upside, my hair looks good. I don't know how to do this. I thought I knew how to do it. I feel comfortable on camera. I think I can say things properly. Um, I think I'm all right at editing, but just trying to do a day is really difficult. It feels so unnatural. I suppose that's just something I'll get used to and be better at in time. Because the whole point is that I want to be kind of experimental with it and like try lots of different things, but I haven't figured out what I was going to do. Nice! 
I won't, exactly. obviously, and no. start. This is the beginning. Yeah. Going. A nice long journey ahead of you of taking lots of videos. Yeah, it's an adventure. <laughs> this is gorgeous. It really is. It's so nice. Oh. I wish mosaics were more of a thing. Like, if I ever have a shop, I'm gonna get like a massive mosaic sign. So we are stupendous. so wet. So New Year's Eve. Poor ever and ever. Your see, glasses. Like, oh yeah, yeah the makeup. That he makes me look beautiful. I can't tell you quite how wet I am right now. <laughs> so just left Rachel to go off and enjoy her New Year's plans, and I'm gonna head home and I have to be back at London Bridge in. An hour and a half, so I think we might just have enough time to show. Probably not. I'm just going to be in a special record evening. So I made it home, and this is this is what I look like now. I have about half an hour to fix myself. I'm not sure if it's possible. It's probably going to be a messy night, so I may as well just lower the expectations now. So I'm heading to the station with Stephen. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. We're not even going to the same place, but no, we're going to different I'm places. glad we get to spend part of this New Year's together. Bridge on my own. One of my favourite bridges in London because Tower Bridge is actually my favourite, but when you're on Tower Bridge, you can't see Tower Bridge. So we just went out for quite a glamorous dinner. <laughs> Shut up, that's so lame. Just went out for a glamorous dinner, and now we're going to the pub. Yay! Off to pub. Off to pub. <laughs> 